Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and that we ourselves. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Let us pray. Indeed, O God, we enter into your courts with praise. We are jubilant because of your many blessings upon our lives. Without you, we are nothing. We are like the shaft blown about by the wind. How we need you every moment of our lives. You are indeed our rock of ages. It is in your name that we pray. Amen. Scripture reading, Psalm 91, the King James Version of the Bible. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyed by thee, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample on the feet. Because he had set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he had known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With a long life will I show him my salvation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O God, your word is undefiled. It is uncompromising. It is infallible. So we ask, O oh God, that you nurture us with your word, because your word is yea and amen. Amen. Many of us must have, have had a secret place. Probably as a child. Some quiet spot where we could have played. And as an adult, Probably our quiet time, our secret place, was in an abandoned shed on a rock overlooking the ocean, in a hut, in an in a uninhabited room, under a shady tree. Adam and Eve was called by God after they sinned. He went looking for them and he asked that question. Where are you? Where are you? And God is asking us that same question too. Where are you? And he's inviting us to come into his safe haven. Into his secret place where we can find shelter. Where we can admit our sinfulness. And he can wash us in his blood and make us whole. And where in that secret place, we could be nurtured. We could be nurtured with fountains of living water. And in that secret place, no vulture's eye had seen and no lion has tread. Augustus Toplady. A young preacher was journeying through an English countryside and suddenly a storm broke out and he searched for a place of refuge and there he found a rock with an opening, a cleft and he hid there 
as the storm raged on the outside and he began to think about his own life. What do you do when the trials and the tribulations assail? There he found a few playing cards in the bottom of the cave and he began to pen that familiar hymn in the year 1775, Rock of Ages, Cliff for Me. A hymn that has brought many, com many Christians great comfort. And what about Moses? Moses hid himself in the cliff of the rock because he wanted to see God's glory. And no man can see God's face in the Old Testament and live. And as God passed by, he covered Moses in the cleft of the rock with his hand. He hid him with his hand. And he lifted his hand as he passed by. And Moses was able to see God's radiance and God's glory, though it was the back of him. When Jesus journeyed through Jerusalem on that momentous occasion, the people waved palm branches. It was a great day of happiness. And they shouted, Blessed is he who is come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. When Jesus reached the brow of the hill, amidst the outcry of, of jubilation, Jesus wept. Because when he looked down at the temple that the Jews pride much, it was their pride and joy. Emblazoned in the sun, the intricate embellishments, he cried because the worshippers in there, their hearts were not with God. And Jesus said, How many times have I called you to myself? Like our hen would God had chicks under her. In olden days, God used to refer to the Jewish people in a tender word, Ephraim, oh Ephraim, oh Ephraim, how can I give you up? The eagles, the mother eagles, they fly to great heights and they lay their eggs on the edge of the cliff. The atmosphere is dense there. So it's above the snake line and no predators can reach her eggs. And when those fledglings are about to fly, the mother would gently push them off the cliff. You can imagine the dismay of the baby eaglets, their own mother pushing them off the cliff, but it's rarely for them to take flight. However, if one is getting difficulty, that mother would swoop underneath her eaglet and lift her up, just as the songwriter said, he lift us up on eagle's wings. He will lift us up, lest we dash our feet against a stone. Noisome pestilence. Noisome refers to calamity. Pestilence refers to plague. Yes, indeed. We have a plague, we have a virus that has entered our land. You see, my dear friends, we battle not against flesh and blood, but we battle against spiritual wickedness in high places. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty through God through the pulling down of strongholds. So we've got to apply the blood of Jesus on our doorposts, on our lintels, upon our family, upon our property. During the tenth plague of the Israel of the Egyptians, the Israelites they covered their doorposts with the blood of the Lamb, so that when that angel of death passed, it could not enter their homes. The songwriter says, "When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass. I will pass over you." There is a recent post that I got that really touched my heart. And you know, it showed Mother Nature leaning on Jesus' breast. She has tears on her eyes and her garments, or her garment rather, is made up 
of all the flags of the nations around the world. And Jesus so tenderly and compassionately and lovingly and warmly draw her closer to him. Indeed to let us know. Indeed to let us know that he's got this. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything in prayer and supplication, let your requests be made known unto God. So my dear friends, my dear parishioners, come to that refuge. Come to that dwelling place. Come to that hidden safety. Come to that sanctuary. It is a fortress that is strengthened against the enemy's attack. It is not only a secret place, but it is, a, it is an arsenal of God's mighty weapons of deliverance. So do not stand out in life's storm alone. Seek God's shelter. Ask him to protect you and make sure that you have his forgiveness. Get close to the rock of ages. Get close to the rock of your salvation. Get close to the rock in a weary land. And he is going to hide you in his pavilion until the storms of life have passed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have we but you? When the cares of this life tend to overwhelm us, when the arm of flesh will fail, we have you. In you there is no failure. You are all our righteousness and we are made complete in you. Oh God, this coronavirus has entered our borders. But you know, God, as I said in my delivery, we battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against wickedness and powers of darkness that seek to exalt itself in high places. And the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, they are mighty through the pulling down of strongholds. And oh God, we pull down the strongholds of this virus in the name of Jesus. We command it to go straight back into the devil's hell. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We cover our families with the blood of Jesus. No weapon that is formed against us, they prosper. We pray for our nation. We pray for the world at large. You say if your people will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways and seek your face. You will hear from heaven and heal their land, heal our land, heal the nations of the world, O oh God, as we draw close to you. You are the only one who can help us. So help us, heal us, deliver us. Hide us in that secret place. Hide us in the pavilion, in your pavilion, until the storms of life have passed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
May God's hands pilot us. May his wisdom instruct us. May his peace sustain us. And may his love surround us. Now and forevermore. Amen.